Hello. Welcome to the third day of Sturb Camp, Sturb Weekend, not Camp, in Bratislava. Uh, hopefully, you have been on the roadmap, you've read the roadmap, and you know what to do. Right now, you should be preparing your pitches, and you should, you should know what to be in the pitch. Uh, to help you with this process, Lukas here will help you with his presentation, Pitch to Kill, to help you with how to kill with a pitch or something like that. Yeah, more or less. Uh, right, so I've met most of you, but just to give a short introduction to myself, uh, I'm Lucas. I work for Hardgamma Ventures in Warsaw, and we run, if it works, yeah, it does. We run Gamma Robots Accelerator, uh, which is a three months program for young startups. So if you guys want, our current edition is finishing in two weeks, and the next one is starting in January, so if you think you're good enough to apply, send me emails. Right, to start with the uh, workshop, first thing is the microphone. You'll be using this same microphone as I'm having. Uh, the tricky part is, if you're not used to that, there's a simple trick to kind of uh, make it work. Keep it like this. If you see it, it makes sure that when you talk to the microphone and start talking about your slides, you don't do something like this. And it happens very often. It does. Um, another thing, the hand. If you don't know what to do with your hand, keep it in your pocket. And it's quite cold in here as well, so that's additional bonus. Um, Right, uh, another thing, uh, kind of a uh, request from organizers, uh, from myself, we are pitching in, exactly. I don't care which English. Uh, so the question, why do we pitch to people? Uh, that's a question to you. <laughs> yes, pretty much, so we pitch to people to change their behaviors, most likely, because they do something and we want, to do, we want them to do what we offer to them, if it makes sense. So yeah, that's pretty much the guy that does the pitching. <laughs> uh, so uh, this presentation has a kind of uh, two parts. The first part is serious, the second part is not so. So I'll start with the serious part. Uh, so the contents of a pitch, uh, so, can you tell me what should be in the pitch? In any order. Okay, problem. Solution. Yes. A what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Team. Mm -hmm. Market. Competition. What was it? Sorry? Timeline, yes, or milestones? Traction? Uh, yeah, if you have any. Oh, what? Jokes. Jokes. Uh, jokes? No, actually, no. If you don't know how to do jokes, don't do them. Uh, because essentially, there's a rule that about only 20% of jokes people understand. So you don't want, if you have here about 200 people, you don't want uh, 40 of them to understand, and then the rest of the people looking at you and th thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> It's not fun. <laughs> right, so uh, to continue, that's the order in which you should do it. I will explain all of the slides in a minute. So it's uh, first the cover, so you say who you are, what's the, what's the product, and a very, very brief description. Uh, I'll send you the slides, so don't worry. Uh, then there's the team, problem, solution, technology, marketing, sales, or monetization, or both competition, milestones, and a short conclusion. So in each of the slides, in the cover, as I said, you should have logo, name, website address, and Twitter username, if you're a geek like myself. Essentially, you'd use Twitter username is extremely useful if you do uh, pitching at the conferences, so people can automatically tweet about what you're doing, so it is useful. Uh, team, uh, use pictures, because it's more fun. Um, Put important facts only, so the background and how many years of experience you have. You don't have to go through a whole CV that you spent four years in high school and so on and so on, because this is boring. Uh, problem. 
tell a story, make it exciting, interesting. Don't go with uh, something, you know, with bullet points like I do. Uh, make it accessible to everyone. This, the, the simpler the story, the better. If you, if you start uh, with a story about, you know, you writing the code last night, it might not be that interesting to everyone else. Um, it's best if it's based on your experience, but don't be afraid to use the experience or of your team members or customers. And this is the most important slide. If you screw this one up, you screw the whole presentation, pretty much. So make sure it's right. Uh, I sometimes recommend teams to do two of those slides to make it even, you know, to make a build up and to make sure that the story is right. Uh, solution. Uh, introduce your product and tell people how does your idea solve the problem. And in this slide, you can show the product. So either screenshots or the very important part, pre-record the videos. Don't link to YouTube because this fails. I seen it fail last week on a conference uh, because the Wi-Fi died and the guy couldn't show the video. Not fun. So pre-record them and then put them on slides. Technology. Uh, describe the technology behind it and don't get into too many boring or technical details. Again. Uh, marketing. So uh, who are the customers? What's the market size? And what are your market entry methods? Uh, please be specific. So don't go with uh, the market size is large or we are going to enter the market via uh, viral campaign because that just doesn't mean anything. So be specific again. Uh, sales monetization, so this is pretty simple. Just discuss your business model. Nothing revolutionary about it, sadly. Uh, competition, so who it is. Uh, don't be afraid to name your competition uh, because you know we will know who it is. Um, why the customers are going to choose you? This is very important because if there's a competition, you have to have details about your business that are better than the competition. And what barriers are you going to introduce so that the competition can't copy your idea? Milestones. So your current status, uh, short, medium, long-term goals, and estimated deadlines. It's very important so we don't say, for example, yes, we want to be second Google without saying one. <laughs> And the conclusion, again, what's the thing of your product? So very briefly in one sentence. And why should we vote for it? Because that's, that's what you pitched today for. So that's all about the slides. And now the, uh, the final part, at least I hope so. Uh, so stuff to remember. Know what you're trying to achieve. That's very important. So today you are pitching to win a competition. It's obviously different than pitching to get funding or what else. Even if you go to a date, you have to know what you're trying to achieve. Uh, know your target audience. We are geeks, so try to, try to address it in that way. Um, it's different for, for different occasions. So if you have a, if you have a room full of potential customers, you have, to, you, you have to prepare your pitch differently than you prepare it now. Uh, remember, it's not about you, although in some cases it is. Keep it real. So pretty much as in the story, try to put your goals right. So don't say you want to be second Facebook, second Google, uh, because that's uh, unlikely. Uh, try to be real about your targets, try to be real about what you're saying, and try not to bullshit us. Uh, be specific, again. Uh, it's very important to keep, uh, to keep all of the goals and what you're trying to achieve in a very, very specific way. Uh, try to tell what's the market size, don't go with a very, very broad things like a large market or whatnot. Uh, preparation is the key. So, yeah, d prepare for the pitch, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it again. Uh, do it a couple of times and then, then make sure you, you know what you're saying or at least pretend to. Uh, solve a problem. Again, that's, that's going back to the problem slide. You have to solve a problem. If you don't solve a problem, there is no valid validity for your product. For example, in this case. <laughs> Show passion. That's very important. So if you stand here, 
try to try to at least look excited, try to speak of your product as you really, really like it, not that you have to pitch it. So try to engage with the audience, try to essentially sell the product. Don't just stand here and go through the slides. Practice. Again, you have to practice a lot, and then you might be able to make it, but just might. And keep it short, because otherwise it will be very boring and we all fall asleep. And it happens a lot. So that's it from me. I was really, really short because I didn't want to bother you with uh, long slides or anything like that. I will send you the slides so you can go through the, uh, the what should be on the slides. Feel free to ask me. I'll be around or just tweet me. And that's pretty much it. Cool. Thanks. And there's one more thing. Yeah, questions. Uh, SWOT on slides, um, not really. It's rather, you know, I would put something sexier into a slide. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, you know, like horribly bad, but no. I mean, it's, it's good to have it in your slides, but not exactly as a table with SWOT on it. And there's one more thing. Uh, we have a group photo outside of the building uh, in a few minutes, I guess. Is it? Yeah, exactly. Okay. A few minutes. So, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Thank you. So please take your team, go, go to your rooms, take your team, and, and, and outside, uh, you know, the entrance to the, to, the, to the building. In five minutes, we're all going to meet there and make a group photo. Yes?